Hello, my name is Awusu. I graduated from UConn. I got a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology, a minor in Cognitive Science, and a certification in Creative Writing. Well, in the future, I'll be pursuing a Master's in Public Administration. And from there, I want to work as a program administrator, either for a nonprofit or somewhere in the public sector. And from there, I guess, I wanted to be, uh, become a diplomat, so that's in the plans. My dream job would be a writer. I'll write poetry for the rest of my life. Yeah, it's an original, unedited poem. Okay, you want to start again and tell us? Okay. So, I'll be reading an original, unedited poem. It's called A Thousand and One Miles to Daylight. Burlesque dancers heave in pools of diaphanous blue gowns. They call me on stage to hold a placard. It reads, loneliness for sale. The preacher smokes a cigarette while offering a prayer. He burns the back of his hands between our men's. He wrestles with the night. I just walk in it, through streets which whisper words I can't take back. You are meant for me. Whatever this old dog will say to feel wanted. The, shores, the stores are all closed. My heart is too. Since love and spring blossoms to ash comes summer's heat. The widow sings Bucelli's if only from her dim balcony. She's lost time, and I've lost hair, friend, self, mind. The gambler slits his heart with a queen of spades, love and luck entwined. Soldier of life, Le Cafard impels artillery shells to assail body and soul, with terror which leaves shadows on my breath as I scream into the night, when will this end? The orphan stands atop a bridge amid a lightning storm, her, her hands clutching an open jar. Her eyes are welled with tears, I hum a basseuse composed one July by fireflies fluttering lights in the palms of my hands. The night devours, makes mockery of ache of escape, locks chains and around ankles seeking refuge for mind and soul, gone from the echoes of hope. This poem was written for a class I took and it was meant to capture what was happening during this time, during the pandemic, and what it was making us feel. So it entails that sense of hopelessness and restlessness we are all feeling. I would say to the new scholars, take time to figure out who you are. You know, once you get to college, try out everything that is presented to you. And there are some things you will like and some things you will hate. Just take all the experiences you have and use that to develop yourself into the person you want to be. Congratulations, class of 2020. Make me and your parents and everyone else proud. Hartford Promise means being part of a family and a legacy that extends beyond me. It means being part of different cohorts that truly have a bright future and have people to help us along the way. I would like to thank Hartford Promise as a whole for the four years of you know, service that they've done for us. Um, I'd like to extend gratitude to each and everyone who has made it possible for me to be here along with the rest of my cohort.